Hello, I'm Nikki Starr. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the 5th of June and it is the World Wide Rotathon. I thought I'd do a little weekend vlog on it because of the timings of stuff. It started here about 11 o'clock last night and then this morning we've done a couple of sort of life things. We've gone out and done a couple of adulting things. So it's about 11 o'clock now but I'm going to jump on in, see if I can find any of the streams if they're happening now and get myself through some rereading. This time I have done little tabs of where my kind of halfway points and stuff are, my quarter way points, so I can get a better idea of how I'm going with it. I'm currently at page 27. This one has 216 pages. I need to preferably be halfway by the end of tomorrow. I've got 80 pages to do in two days, which we'll see how that goes. <laughs> For the rest of today, the only thing I've got on is going to do some dinner and I've got a family call in the evening. So past about six, probably not going to get a lot done. So we have seven hours. Let's go and see who is currently doing a stream and go and join them. check-in it is just past two it's about ten past two I've just had lunch in total so far i have reread for 68 minutes i started this what about 11 and i have read through 25 pages working on my average since i started this book and i am now on, on page 51 i have about 11 hours left to go <laughs> to get through the whole book which is not the aim. The aim this week is to get to the halfway point. So I'm literally a page away from my quarter point. I'm that far away, I'm getting to the halfway. So it's going to take me a little bit of time. But what I'm thinking is it's still got now. I've got until about half seven usually to my family call. I've just cooked the main meal for lunch rather than dinner. Partly because it is getting very warm and cooking later in the day when all the warmth is trapped in the flat seems like a terrible idea so we're just gonna go for a sandwich later which would be much easier to do it also means that i am gonna cook later which means i have now a block of time that can just be kind of this and the sprints and working my way through both of them so i'm not entirely sure of the timings of when this sprint ends technically and the next one starts if i'm honest i struggle trying to translate the times of everything so I haven't really looked at the schedule. I'm just kind of putting the playlist on and hoping for the best. So there might be a little bit of sort of break time. If there is, I might do a quick workout. Maybe a little, depending on when that is, because I want the food to settle a little bit. Otherwise I'm going to give myself more problems than I need. Theoretically, I'd like to get to the halfway mark today. But bearing in mind I'm basically at the quarter point. We mean another 138 minutes today. Because if I could do that, and then I could do even like an hour's worth of work tomorrow. I can get ahead of myself for next week. That's a little update. It is very lovely and warm here. The sun's coming in, I've got a fan on me, which you might hear the sound of. I apologize to editing Nikki and to all of you. If that noise is there, would be a pain in the ass, but I'm not turning it off because otherwise I'll be uncomfortable. <laughs> So far, the sprints that I've watched have been amazing. I love knowing there's a load of writers writing with me during this kind of stuff. And I know I'm not writing, but being able to, I don't, I don't do a lot in the chats. I should probably do more in the chats, but it's nice to have this kind of camaraderie for the weekend. I do need to start getting on to doing some live streams myself and understanding how to make it work, but We'll cross that bridge at another point. Two and a bit more hours as in terms of writing hours. And I could theoretically be at the halfway point. Could I get through this draft this weekend, get through the next draft by like middle of my holiday, and then get through book four in the other week and a half? Hmm. Because if by July I only had four books left to read through, and if I had a pattern that could kind of work to do books four to maybe book six, seven in July because I also have a week off do book five in the first week of July and then six and seven give it a week and a half so I'm going to rush the first one as much as I can well not rush it but give it 
time that first week and then do a week and a half one because then august just for me to finish book eight and there's definitely a bank holiday in august do book eight and then i could look at the old versions of space pirates one which i think i need to just tip me over the million because otherwise i'm going to be rushing right at the end of august but this sounds like a plan if i could do this this weekend and then see if i could get through two more books this month do the same thing in July. This is what I'm talking about with my my ambition is going to get too high for this now. If I have a break between this sprint and the next sprint, which I think we do, I'm going to maybe do a workout and I might have to do some maths and see really where will I be at the end of book eight. Bearing in mind I'm doing a lot more notes on things than I thought I was going to. I always planned to have like 3,000 words for my re-outlining and we are a book and a, a, book and a quarter in. <laughs> And I've got like 13,000 words. So there'll be, more, there'll be more coming from that. But I may have to do some maths. Because if I could finish them all in all, like beginning of August, everything would be done. Either I do a shit ton of brainstorming words, if I only need a little bit. Or I start reading through old versions of Space Pirates. Because what I kind of want to know, Space Pirates 1 now has three different drafts of it. Because it was the first original really shite draft. Then there was my zero draft for this go through. And then now I'm on the first draft of that go through. So I could go back to the old ones and see if I've missed anything. Like see if any character kind of interesting things dropped that I might want to add back in. That was the plan. If I need more words to top up. I might do it anyway. But it's whether I do it in August. <laughs> what am I going to do with myself after Mill Wordians? Because I'm not doing this two years in a row. There was something about this being a quarantine year. I'm not going to commit to doing it again. <laughs> Gonna see where the sprint is and see if we've got any more actual sprints in it. If there's a break, I'll get a bit of a workout in, do some book math, which is my favourite math, play with my spreadsheets, and then see if I can get through to halfway point today. It might be ambitious, but I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. Okay, it is about 10 o'clock now. Actually, it's 10 past 10. We're in between sprints. I sprinted up until about like four and then kind of took an unplanned break then made dinner and stuff did my family call and i was done by about nine so i jumped into the last bit of the sprints before this one usually i'm gonna be honest usually i'd be in bed by now but i'm not tired it may be the energy drink it might be the amount of food i've had today because i've been snacking like you wouldn't believe while i'm doing this but for some reason still very awake so i'm gonna try and get on with Sarah Cahill's sprint as well and see if I can get a bit further. I am currently at page 88. My halfway mark with this book is 108 pages. So if I can get another 20 in, I will have hit my halfway mark today. I'm currently doing about half a page a minute. That's my current rate of stuff. So 40 minutes worth of sprinting will get me to the halfway mark. I don't think I will get through the whole rest of it tomorrow. I think that was massively ambitious. But there is also a part of me thinking that I could go a little bit late into the night tonight, get maybe a shorter sleep tonight, and then try and nap tomorrow. Might regret this. This, I mean, to be fair, I don't have a sleep schedule at the moment. I haven't had a sleep schedule in a long time. <laughs> also, my makeup is all over the shop. I have not been paying attention to it. Theoretically I need to do about like I think it's like seven hours worth of work tomorrow to get to the whole end of it and I don't see that happening even with all the really useful sprints alongside me. If I go like in tonight I'm probably not going to end up doing all that much tomorrow. <laughs> I found the first scene in all of the reading through so far where I haven't made copious notes about changes. It appears I enjoyed this scene. There are a couple of tweaks I think probably need to be made, but that happens in earlier scenes to make this scene better. The scene itself is okay. But other than that, nearly everything has got copious amount of things that need to be changed. Which is just par for the course for me. So yeah, we've got about 15 more minutes before the next sort of sprint start. I could do a little sprint myself, but I kind of don't want to. This is going to be a very interesting evening if I do go later, because I am awake. But am I with it? Am I going to go into these sprints and be reading through the book and not paying attention to it? This is this is an experiment. I could crash and burn and fall asleep. If I don't update you today, I've probably fallen asleep on the sofa. Hello, it is Monday the 7th of June. I didn't do any rereading yesterday for the other half of the World Wide ride -thon. Didn't do much yesterday. We're going to leave it at that. However, Saturday night, I did get to the midpoint 
of Space Pirates Book 2. We are making progress. The aim now is to get through the rest of it this week. Uh, so it's Monday. I'm gonna try and sit down and do hopefully at least an hour's worth. With my Milwardy tracking, it took about six and a half hours to get to the middle point. So about six and a half hours this week should get me through it. I do want to spend some more time on my campfire blaze though, because I am slacking behind on that now. <laughs> One of the weird things about the way I write is I can introduce someone and give absolutely no physical description. So when I'm going into my campfire blaze and I'm putting in this new character, I don't have anything to put in there and it just leaves it blank. <laughs> So I need to go in and start deciding on things like that, people's hair colour and eye colour and what's their build like and how tall are they and that kind of stuff. And then for my main crew, I need to go into my Dabble app where my old character profiles are and start pulling information across that's relevant. Things like I do Myers-Briggs and Enneagrams for my main crew just because it helps me. Initially when I'm making the character, it's helpful to go through and do the quiz and try and think exactly how they would come out with answers to different scenarios but then also once it's there it's a really good resource for me to go okay so they're in this situation how would they think it through rather than how would I think it through which is what my brain always wants to do and goes well this is this is my version of what I would do I need to move all of that stuff across as well so I need to have a sit down at some point and maybe spend an hour just doing that but I'm thinking that that can be something I do next week when I'm off because Saturday the Euros start here, which is a football tournament that goes on for about a month. And some days there are three football games in the day, <laughs> which is amazing. And I've got next week off, which is the start of it. So I'm going to want to watch a lot of the football, but it's the kind of thing I could do, particularly if I'm copying and pasting from Dabble Across, I could have the football on the TV and just copy and paste things across. I have a feeling I can pick eye colours and hair colours without having to have too much in the way of paying attention. But if I've made an any kind of note of it in the book I'm trying to remember to add it into the campfire. The plan for now is to sit down and try and do as much rereading as I can. The quicker I can get through this the better but obviously I want to make sure that I'm reading it through thoroughly, realising where I've put things on purpose and where things are just coincidentally there and need to work out whether that's a good thing or not. It's a lot of weird things in this series. There have been quite a few moments where I've gone oh if I did that slightly differently then when I get to that book seven scene I had before, then it becomes like a callback thing. That would be cool. And that kind of stuff. So I'm picking up the things that I didn't intend, but I could make use of. And there's a few others where I'm like, oh, I could see what I was trying to do there and it didn't work. Lots to think about either way. But for now, I'm going to stop this because this is now my procrastination and get on with some rereading. Hello, this is Nikki from the future. I haven't actually edited the vlog that you've just seen yet but I am pretty convinced I didn't round out the end of the video. I just wanted to give a quick thank you to everyone who had organised the World Wide Writerthon, everyone who was a host in there or co-host, everyone did the, the chats and things. These events are amazing not only for being able to you know actually get some work in, spend time with other writers, it, the community building aspect of it like there are so many people now that I follow on YouTube purely because I've seen them in the World Wide Writerthon and I think that's pretty cool. Thank you everyone who was involved and thank you for watching through this whole vlog. Let me know in the comments down below if you participated in the World Wide Writerthon, how did it all go with you? I might potentially flash up some stats on, on how it all ended for me that day. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Why is it I never notice how much my hair needs to be re-dyed until I'm on camera. Look at that. Look at all that white coming through. <laughs>